Hi everyone, I'm Captain Munter, a Street Fighter player from New Zealand. Welcome to episode 3 of 3 Green Bars. In this episode, I'm in Holland. I planned a trip to Amsterdam, and luckily it falls on the same day as a huge tournament in Utrecht called Dutch Noobs 2. Did, did you ever have arcades here? Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Long Back in the day, do you miss it? No. I never loved it. Whoa! I didn't miss it. I didn't miss it. It was horrible. The, the sticks were, were broken, the buttons didn't work. Smash on the machines. Oh, well, the machines were. No, man, it was not. We did We did And the worst part is, you had to be 18. You had to be 18. We, were, we were 16 at that time. So we couldn't enter. Oh, you had them in those mini casinos. Oh, that's sad. I mean, when, Super, when Street Fighter 4 came out, did the scene just explode? Yeah. Yeah. Because like uh, I'm I'm a newcomer. Yeah. I started entering tournaments in February, and from what I understand, like most of the players now are all new to Street Fighter. Wow. Because like you know you got you got a few old old school players from Super Turbo on the Third Strike era. Yeah. But most of the players, you know, they 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 they're new. It's they're fun. New. Uh, I always played fighting games, but never at a competitive level. Yeah. Because you know, I wasn't aware of a of a tournament scene. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it was always with friends, casually, go one-on-one, -on -one, you lose, next one. Yeah. You know, all fun and games. And then, like, in February, February, I went to the site GameFAQs, GameFAQs.com. Oh, yep, yep, and yep. I, and I went to the uh, message boards, and I found this Dutch guy, this tournament player, and I asked him, and he took me to my first tournament. Oh, neat. That's cool. That's and really cool. Ever since then, just like, whoa, this is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what inspired you to run run Dutch Noobs and like really kind of step it up a bit, you know, like to, to make a tournament and to take it to the next level like outside of your lounge room, you know? Well, we thought that there wasn't anybody doing the tournament, but then afterwards we found that there was a few guys doing it, but nobody didn't like on a monthly basis or something like that. Sure. And we just liked the play, so we thought it might be easier that we could do that, you know. But they were before us. They were they were a smaller they were a smaller community at the beginning. Yeah. And then 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 they grow bigger into different games like Street Fighter, Blaze Blue, King of Fighters. Cool. Uh, Morpheus, Capcom, CVS2. Richard, Richard, Rishi, and I know of me. We know each other about 16 or 12 years. I don't know, a long time. So the internet was only for the rich back then, and yeah, you so started your own. What was it called again? Uh, Fuse. Fuse. We got us a Fuse. We. We organized Soul Calibur 1, Tekken Tech, Tekken 3, mm. Street Fighter Alpha 3, oh, Pro nice. Evolution Sucker on the N64. <laughs> yes! Yeah, so we, like, we, <laughs> cool, cool. we tried to do everything, but we did mount to mount, uh, how do you call it? Mount to mount uh, commercial. <laughs> yeah, that sounds yeah. nasty, I know, but it was. What, mouth what, to mouth. Oh, you mean word of mouth? Word, word to mouth. Mouth to mouth is like. Over here, that, that's like. Yeah, oh, that's how you say yeah, it. Over yeah. in the Dutch, we call it mount to mount, but uh. word to mouth. Oh, yeah, because mouth to mouth is when someone's dying. Yeah, you I breathe air into their lungs. Yes, I. No, no, I get you, don't worry, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Even if I did a uh, national place like Reinhardt in the day, uh, wow. Bode, Sandro. So you had like a whole different set of challenges back then. Like we have, do you think that we're very privileged now with all the tools that we have? Yes, we're very privileged. Because yep. back in the day it was really hard to get people from, from, different, from, from different nationalities like yeah. England, France. Italy, Spain, it was really hard to get them over here because nobody knew, nobody knew, nobody knew each other. Mm. So we have to go to all, so, so, try to go to terminals all over the world to, to just get to know somebody. So did you? So do you think that with the European Union starting and all that, did that help as well? Like yeah, it helped really good. Yeah, because then you don't need a your passport and you don't need a visa. And yeah, you can just go anywhere you got one. And, and, Mm. It's really cheap now. It's like 80 euros to, to go to the to go to England. And yeah. Back in the day, it was it like 150 gulden or 200 gulden. Oh man, oh, yeah. so that was like really much back in the day. When, when you're 14 and you don't work or you don't have work, you only do school. Yeah. You really have to save up, and then you must hope you win. Does part make you a better Street Fighter player? There are a few Street Fighter players who use part and are really good. Oh really? Uh, but there are lots of them who okay. use it and they suck. Oh, really? <laughs> nice. And, and do you, what do you think it does that makes you better or worse when you're on pot? Does it depend on the person, I guess? Yeah, it depends on the person. Because some, some person goes, goes really deep into the game and, they, and you, can't, you can't talk them out about it. 
it's, it's good. good. It's, it's good. good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> Some people want to keep their uh, young man re reactions. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's your What's your online handle? It's Starkin. Oh. Okay, cool. S T E. Yeah. Uh, R C A N. Cool. And you switch from like vanilla Sega to. Yeah. Wow. Only because he's Turkish. <laughs> Yes. yes! As a Turkish player, do you feel that Hakan is being a bit stereotypical? Do you think he's being a bit racist towards Turkish people? Or do you think, fuck no. yeah, he's awesome? Like a good Turkish person should be, sort yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's got all those cool kids. I think I wanted to pick him because his, his he goes. His family is great. Yeah. His wife, his his wife is pretty wife. hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Take so, and you're, you're main in Gokin, and what's your handle? Uh, Deadly Creeper. Deadly Creeper on Xbox Live. Uh, nice. And, yeah. what, and, and what's your handle as well? Obsidian Prime on uh, PSN. Cool. And who, who are you meaning to? Deep. Deep. Nice. Someone has to. And you're not even playing, you're playing Tatsunoku, eh? No, he's, he will be playing. You are playing! He has to play. You, you caved, you caved, bro. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's gonna be claw, but have no expectations at all. Oh. But you are gonna be preaching the word of Tatsunoku versus Capcom I'm, I'm to the masses. Be, I'm gonna be preaching the word of Marvel versus Oh, Marvel! Marvel baby. Yeah. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 or 3 or both? Nah, I, I played more uh, Tatsunoko with Marvel 2 back in the day. Cool, more your style. Marvel 3. Yeah. Wesker for Marvel 3. Oh, no, I definitely want Wesker as well because I'm going to be going at uh, Deadpool, Chun Li, and Wesker if he's in it. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna go Beautiful Joe because he's Beautiful Joe. He yeah, he's freaking awesome. He sucks in Tatsunoku, but in. in, in <laughs> he's better in Marvel. Yeah, so he looks. Yeah, well, the game's not done yet. It looks like he's got a Wait, 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 wait for those things until it comes out. That's, that's cool. good to hear. Nice. But, uh, remember the DJ. Remember what they did to DJ. <laughs> uh, handle is Jinx. Yeah. Uh, we're from Shadow Loop. You can see. Yeah. Oh. And we make custom joysticks. That's about it. Nice. But we do. Yeah, pretty much anything, you know. And you seen anywhere in the world, eh? Yeah, yeah, cool. Canada, US, uh, Europe. Europe. And this is one that you made yourself, obviously. Yeah, very yeah. sexy. So it almost shows, it almost shows every single thing that you can get customly. Like you can get like this custom thingy here. Yeah. You can get custom see-through buttons. Yeah, this is. The Sumitsu, those are the Sumitsu ones, eh? Yeah, Sumitsu. Yeah. And normally you can put the, the artwork. That you're putting down here, yeah. you can put them in the in the buttons themselves. Well. Yeah. But this is just just to keep it clean, you know. It's Can like it? a like a statement, just to, to keep this clean yeah, yeah. and put the artwork on the on the box itself, you know. So is that airbrushed or? Yeah, this custom airbrushed. Nice. Just doing a bit of promotion on your face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> having some playtime, you know. Yeah, man. At home you have to, to balance. Tell the wife that you're going to play. But this is uh, this all day long. And she's fine with you like making sticks like for a living? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, cool. my, my, my own babies. She plays, you know, my own child. <laughs> she plays on them and she swaps the balls and stuff like that, you know. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, yeah. What's your handle? What's your thing on Xbox? Oh, Thompson Gio. Thompson Gio. Like, like Germany. G-E-R. Oh, cool. And um, you, um, how far are you through the um, tournament? You're a Rufus player. I got through the brackets. Yeah. Oh, boy, and uh, now I played three matches in the tournament, and I'm still in the winner of So nice. Good chance to win. <laughs> and you come from Germany? Yeah. Obviously. I'm from Dortmund. Oh, cool, cool. It's like about 200 kilometers from here. What made you travel all the way here to play in this tournament? Just because. Since I'm playing Street Fighter competitively, I have been basically every tournament and it's always fun. I don't like playing online, so I enjoy playing with people live. And yeah, yeah. Acting with them and talking with them and chilling with them, so it's cool. It's nice. But more fun. Since in Germany, there's always like one tournament every three months, so I have to take my chances. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's cool. What's your game attack? Fat. Uh, cool, and you won the last. Um, Dutch, um, Dutch noobs uh, won. Most of them. Yeah, most of them. Yeah, most of them. So who are you afraid of at this tournament apart from me? Uh, no, no, just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. No, only uh, a few guys. A few guys. Uh, I think uh, three, four. I think most of them uh, uh, going with the red. 
Okay. And the random moves are... Uh, uh, I am very bad uh, if I play uh, to a person, if he do most random... Oh, um, random things, stuff. Then uh, I'm going to be down. Oh, cool. So you, you find that your game plan your game plan gets messed up if people aren't playing on the same level, yeah, almost. So if, if someone plays me on the same uh, level, yeah. uh, it's uh, easy to me. Yeah, 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 uh, sure. Uh, I can beat the random guy, but yeah. it's, uh, it's more difficult than the guy with the same, uh, uh, same level. Sure. So cause, because, do you think it's because maybe they're ignoring your game, you know? Yeah, they're I, not I, playing I, your game. When, when the guys that do random shit, uh, Ferdy's uh, always thinking ahead and he's planning the match, etc. And if so, something random will disturb your, his entire game plan. Yeah. So it, it's incredibly hard to anticipate uh, what people are going to do with a play like, play like that. It's true. Especially if they, if they actually do it on purpose and they're not just crappy players. Yeah, that's the difference. They, they actually, they do it on purpose, uh, just a couple of times in a match and then it'll, it'll mind fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, he has to lower it, it's like... Uh, it's the lower you're thinking, eh? You have yeah. to go, I'm gonna wait for you to do something stupid. He has to... Example, jump kick me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So who placed the highest? Uh, 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 nice. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Sunglasses. Cool. Lucky, you know? Yeah, yeah. Did you have a crowd behind you going, Amsterdam? Sonic Boom. And not only the Sonic, but uh, uh, the Boom as well. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somersault. Somersault. Did you have Japanese? Did you put sunglasses on the, on the tournament? Yes. 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 Every time. Yes. Every time. Yes. And then I got yes. the crowd, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta put them on. Like after every flash kick, glasses on, flash kick, glasses off. That's how we do it. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> that really fucks people off. So who won absolutely no matches? Oh, you mean who got sweeps? Don't even got out of the pool. Yeah. Oh, who got entirely sweeps? Oh, bro, bro. Who did you lose to? I lost to him. Oh. That's what friends are for. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them that you. Yeah. Uh, just give me two more months. I will beat all of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just gonna get the revenge. Next time on Three Green Bars, I'm in London. Attend a weekly ranking battle. It's hosted by Logan Summer at HMV Gamer Base in the centre of London. I speak with Ryan Hart, aka Prodigal Son, an internationally renowned Street Fighter player. I speak with Anil, a programmer for Capcom Europe, and I discuss the arcade history of Street Fighter 4 and Third Strike with London's fighting game.